Hello, I'm Bob Mankop, cartoon editor of the New Yorker magazine, and welcome to an international episode of the Cartoon Lounge. Now, I didn't even know there were other cartoon editors in the world. As far as I knew, certainly not in the United States, but it turns out I'm here with uh, Toby Schrillard from Stern Magazine, who is actually the uh, cartoon editor or whatever they call uh, that over there. Humor redacteur, it's not only cartoon editor, it's all in one, humor and cartoon, so I do other humor stuff on my sites, but well, I, I'm not qualified to do humor. You had enough to do with your stuff. That's much too serious. I've been here with you, we've been here the last day, I've been, you know, giving you my tips, my wisdom, my mentoring, so that you can go back and, you know, make stern cartoons obscure as New Yorker cartoons are. Yeah, I try. So I like the gentle cartoons, the gentle way of your cartoons. Yeah. They're silent. This is really good drawing. Yeah. And we, I think we got another different history in the back. It's like having, saying something political, if something happens, this is a message. Sometimes it's sometimes through it, sometimes it hurts. What's this cartoon? The bird said, what happens? And the uh, rabbit said, the May has come and the trees beating out. That means they grow. And we, when trees grow, we have the same word for uh, beat someone and for growing. So that's a speech. I have no one, there's no idea so what he gets hurt from the <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I think about our cartoons is you often have to put together quite a bit. Like this is probably a cartoon that would not be in Stern and really would only be in the New Yorker because it's, it's sort of crilly, silly and crazy. You know, okay. it's the conga line of past selves. <laughs> okay, that's... You know, you know, it's more expressionistic. Of, yeah. I would say for the New Yorker cartoons, a lot of it is the, car is the cartoon is not so much playing to an audience, but expressing their own whimsy, their own absurdities, the things that are actually delighting them. <laughs> thank you, Bob. All right, thank you. <laughs> this is great. All right, perfect. Uh, continuing with our international theme of the Cartoon Lounge, I've got a question from Helen Picard. Dear Bob, I am about to study for a year in Dublin at Trinity College. I noticed in the mini golf episode that Colin has an accent. Is it Irish? Let's find out. No. 